walking by the light of time. She's the recipient of my gratitude. And even though she comes and she goes, she always knows. She always knows what to do. Sometimes you can't see her life. She's out there somewhere. She had something. Maybe we're right back to Maybe there's something inside that knows just what to do. So, uh, so, uh, what an amazing thing, I believe, is possible when a community comes together and when a community celebrates the diversity within its people. Uh, and especially as we look at this space today, as we look at the way that multiple people from multiple generations uh, are celebrating a good work of great joy. Uh, we get to do that alongside, I believe, uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, Journey is a DD8 member. And so we've Ooh. been blessed, yeah, we've been blessed multiple times uh, through the work of our DDA, which I believe is the best in Michigan. Yeah. And y'all have won several awards. So let's clap for the DDA. And especially as we uh, celebrate this space where people will gather uh, to have conversation, uh, to have fellowship with one another, uh, to get together as family and friends, uh, may we give it a blessing. May this space be blessed in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so my partner in crime, come on. My name's Kelly Westbrook. I'm the DDA director. Standing alongside my partner in crime or the dynamic duo, as many of you know us by, by now, uh, Kimberly Smith. You know, this concept of this space was just a dream and it was just brought about by conversation. It was by us being able to have the relationships that we do with business owners and building owners to understand what their dreams were as well. So as we started to have the conversation, Les Thomas came into play and he had a vision for this space here, um, right above Victoria's and the space that you see above you. And what we wanted to do is couple that with all of that area that's out here into the actual courtyard. So we were able to apply for um, a grant through T-Mobile's hometown grants. And we were so lucky at that time, Ashley Ross was on our board of directors and she is what we call a grant ninja. And we were able to secure funding coupled with Consumers Energy, LAS and the DDA to make this dream come alive. So I'm not um, one for speeches. I don't really love to read off paper, but I have to say there were so many people that we have to stand here and thank today because there were so many people who were a part of this and making this dream a reality. So I am going to make sure that I don't miss anyone. So this courtyard represents more than just a physical space. It's a symbol of what we can achieve when we come together as a community. It's a space for gathering, for making memories, and for celebrating all the things that make Oxford unique and wonderful. I thank everyone for being here today and for contributions to this amazing journey. We need to continue to work together and dream big and make downtown Oxford a place that we are all so proud of. First, we wanna thank Les Thomas standing here whose investment and unwavering support. Oh, yes, please, clap for him. <laughs> Les's investment and unwavering support, both financially and visionary, has truly been the backbone of this project. Les, we could not have made this dream a reality with you, and we are so eternal, eternally grateful to you. We owe a debt of thanks to T-Mobile, hometown grant and Jeff is here. We're going to have him speak in a few minutes here, even though he didn't know he was going to. And that is because we couldn't have done this and made this a reality without the $50,000 grant from T-Mobile's hometown grants. 
to the DDA and the Village of Oxford, the DPW, thank you for your ongoing support and the dedication to making Oxford a better place to live, work, and gather. Joe Medor knows that I know where his office is because he's right next to me, you poor thing. I'm sorry you don't have a drink in your hand right now. Um, he knows that through row engineering and BSI contracting and everything, it was a daily basis of me asking questions and trying to understand what this looks like from a project standpoint. So thank you so much. We're um, very fortunate for our DDA board. Um, Pete was on our podcast today. He's the board chair. Rod Charles just gave up his um, chair seat, but he's a part of this team. There are other board members here today, and we could not do it without all of them. They are amazing. They believe in this dream and this impact and all of this big vision that goes into doing what we've done the last four years. Ashley Ross, I don't think she was able to attend today, but just Consumers Energy Grant, T-Mobile Grant, she amazes me with how she is a grant ninja and we just lean on her so much now, even now that she's not a board member. Um, I just want to thank the person standing next to me, Kimberly Smith. You know, yes, okay, we have assistant in her title, whatever. She touches everything I do every single day, and we work together as a team on everything, and I'm so grateful for her commitment to the DDA. And she's gonna do the rest of the thank yous. You have to hold that too. I'm not teary. I'm not teary, you're teary. <laughs> so I came in two and a half years ago, one and a half years ago, I can't even remember at this point. Um, but it's been a beautiful journey, and I'm so thankful that Kelly gave me the opportunity to be here in this role and working with her in these beautiful projects that we have where we can see our community and our village come together. It really is such a beautiful thing. So a huge thank you to Nick Hotman, whose incredible talent and creativity brought life to this courtyard with a stunning mural right over here on this wall and on the other side of the creative embroidery wall as well. He did both of those murals um, as well as the one over in Washington Square. Uh, special recognition to BSI for their expertise in all of the flat work and drainage, ensuring that this space is not only beautiful, but functional for years to come. Excel Cleaning Brothers, thank you for all of your hard work on the lighting. This courtyard shines both day and night because of your efforts, so thank you. To Nicolette Shagina, who provided the initial concept drawing and what a reality we've created from it, so thank you. She was our former, or, or, committee chair for the design committee so thank you for that and our new committee chair for the design committee is scott cree which he's here but i don't know where he's standing there he is over there so thank you to you both for the initial design as well as the implementation for this beautiful space to the rest of the design committee thank you for your steadfast commitment to the beautification of downtown oxford every detail has your fingerprints on it and your passion for this project truly shows to our local businesses, Victoria's Modern Marketplace, Creative Embroidery, Designs by Chance, Canellas Farm Bureau, Rod Charles, Building Owner, and Covered Wagon Saddlery. Thank you so much for your patience, flexibility, and participation while we work through the construction process. We just talked earlier today on our, on our podcast about how every project timeline seems to shift based on weather, based on vendors, all of the different factors and all of the pieces that come into place. So I know that it maybe didn't go exactly to plan, but we thank you for your patience and we hope that you're enjoying the outcome of what has, has come from that. Um, your support and understanding made this journey much smoother and now we all get to share in this beautiful space together. We are also excited to welcome the new businesses to this quad, Cassandra & Co., Scott's Toys, gracefully crafted by Lori and Wild & Rooted. You have joined at such an exciting time and we look forward to watching your businesses thrive here in this shared space. To Victoria, thank you for your amazing food today and for your commitment to making your new patio a reality. It has been- Where are you, Vicki? Are you? Oh, there we are. Thank you so much. It has been such a pleasure to watch this space evolve, and now we can all enjoy it together. The funny thing is, is you had some construction in your own space too. So poor Vicky has been in construction heaven the last couple, last year or so. Um, thank you to Summer Sundays for the sweet treats today, and welcome to the community. Thank you for making today's celebration even sweeter. 
To Heather at Wild and Rooted, thank you for letting us use your beautiful new space today. It is a perfect addition to our growing community. So for those that don't know, she was down in the White House District. Where are you, Heather? Okay, hi, she's hiding. Um, she moved recently over here and we couldn't be happier for her beautiful space. Uh, lastly, a special thank you again to Les Thomas for being an irreplaceable part of this process. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not choked up at all. Um, we could not have done this without your incredible support. He will speak to you in just a moment, but before we have him come up, we have one more thing we need to announce. Today is a very special day. It is someone's birthday. Oh. 29 years young, right? Happy birthday to Kelly Thomas. Thank you. I hope that today is as special for you as it is for us over yeah, here. Absolutely. So happy birthday. Thank so you. I will turn it now over to Les Thomas. Thank you everyone for your support. We love what we do. We could not be happier with the jobs that we have. We absolutely love Oxford. We love what we do. And we're happy that you guys can share in some of what we love too. Do you want to come up first, and then we'll let Lassie be long-winded? Sounds good. Okay, great. Hey, good, uh, good evening, everybody. My name's Jeff Nielsen, and I'm actually the market support for Northeast Michigan. Uh, we were pulled into this project a couple of years ago, uh, and what this... What, sorry, podcast. Hey, what's up? Uh, what, this, what this represents uh, from T-Mobile is a $25 million investment over five years, and as I look around, the, uh, Oxford has done exactly what we're looking for. T-Mobile is investing money designed to pull the community closer, to create areas where people gather, to add to the community and just really see the community grow. And I, this is the sixth one of these that I have done. And God's honest truth, this is the most people I've seen show up. So as I look around and I say, hey, where is the money getting invested in, in the in the intent that it is supposed to of pulling people together, I see it right here in Oxford. So we are pleased to be a part of this. And that being said, uh, congratulations, guys. Thank you. you got Appreciate it. You. Yeah. Got Appreciate it. it. No problem. Okay, first, can everyone hear me okay? So. Kimberly and Kelly, as always, did such a great job kicking things off. And again, Kelly, this is the birthday party that you wanted <laughs> with a bunch of people that you don't know. So happy birthday to my wife. And Kelly and I both uh, want to thank you on behalf of our family uh, for being here. We most of all want to thank our friends at T-Mobile. Again, Jeff, thank you for your, your support and all that uh, we've been able to do with this space, which truly is a community space. Believe it or not, this started um, two years ago. I can't believe that. Joe Mador, Kelly, Kimberly, the DDA, the council, thank you all for what we've been able to accomplish. And uh, it sure did turn out great. We have to apologize to our neighbors at Creative Embroidery. They were so patient this whole time, Ashley and her team. Victoria, I, she's still got some hair, I can't believe it. She was amazing. Her vision, I have to say, along with Kathy Comps with Modern Marketplace, you girls have done such a wonderful job creating an amazing environment for our community to gather. I cannot thank you enough, and uh, we will forever be grateful. Vicki, I see you way in the back, and the guy that is also uh, the unsung hero on your team, Wes. I know Wes is here. Thank you, Wes, for all that you have done here. So appreciate, appreciate all that. Uh, Kimberly and Kelly did such a good job of introducing and thanking uh, the folks in the village. But I wanted to take a moment uh, to thank some of my guys who are here today that contributed so greatly to this project. And some are here and some aren't, but I'd like to mention them by name anyway, because I see that I'm on camera and they may see themselves on television. So, and this is going to be quick, but please indulge me for just a couple minutes. Uh, the guys at Carport Structures, Jerry Suzor, Darren Marsh, Jamie Nash, and their architect and engineer, Dave Wilson, they were critical. This could not have happened without these guys and their incredible team. And so thank you to all of those guys. Steed Mills with Performance Construction, phenomenal job assembling all this. It's a, a bit of an erector set, quite honestly. There's some photos around the corner. If you take a moment to take a look at what this space used to look like, 
kind of some interim photos, and then what it ultimately turned into, I think you'll be surprised at what we did with the space. A couple guys that I know are here, Terry and Jesse Royster. I see you over there, buddy. Thank you, both of you guys. Another fella that he's retired and we don't see him much, but he had a lot to do with all of these buildings for me. Chuck Stockwell, I know you're here, Chuck. Thank you. Mike Bainan and his pal Dayton. Uh, Jeff and Steve Walling. Rob Dennis and Kevin Blank. Majestic Masonry, Mike and Steve Giddings. I see the TV guys have already gotten you on a TV show. We're going to see you on like the Pawn Star guys. Mark Brown, M&B Contracting. The Terenzis with Paint Creek Tile. And I think they're here, or at least they will be shortly. Dino Terenzi, I want to call his name out specifically. If you have not been into Victoria's space and looked at her ceiling, in the new space, it mimics the one that's 100 year olds next to it. That was done by a company in India, and Dino Terenzi put that together with his brother, and it is absolutely phenomenal, and you would never know that that's not a 100 year old space. Tom, Amanda, and Matt with Pearl Glass, Bruce Boyd, Nick Hopman's already been mentioned, Mickey and Jared, and then uh, Ryan and Mark Austin, and a guy they call Tiny, I don't know why they call him Tiny, because he's big as a house, Glenn Giacovetti uh, with BSI. Thanks to all you guys for making this thing possible. Today is about thanking all of you for being a part of it and celebrating Oxford. And uh, please enjoy the night. And in a few minutes when my grandkids get here, we're gonna have some candles and a cake and wish Kelly a happy birthday. Aww. So thanks again, have a great time. Oh yeah, yeah, so the food is inside. Help yourself to enjoy the space, and then Reggie's going to come back up and uh, sing some more songs for us. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Kelly. Oh, it's a C. Happy birthday to you. Just think, what if we didn't have local TV and radio? Where would I go for local sports, local politics, a mayor, city council, stuff that affects me every day? How about health? Who's covering things that endanger my family? I need to know now, as it happens, from sources I trust, people in my community. No agenda, no bias like you find on cable and social media, just facts. For news I can trust, I stay local. Support your local station. Text TV to 52886 today. Thank you for taking a minute. I, I know that you don't really like to talk on camera, but I also know that you and your brother were a lot involved in making some of these punch throughs for the buildings and the brickwork and stuff like that. Thank you for all the work you do. It looks great. How did you get involved in this project? Well, you started really with uh, the refurbishing the top on the on the side of Lapeer Road when Les wanted to redo it, the clock tower, and then just restoring the whole building from that side aesthetically. And then he had a vision and wanted to start connecting buildings, and that it was a matter of you know figuring out how what was on the other side of each brick wall. Any any surprises? Yes, we found you know old old material that was used a long time ago. And, you know, pins, dowel pins and wood pins that they would have used a long time ago. Just to keep things together. Yes, to keep things together, which, and the fact that it's all brick walls, there's not, there's not a block in between. So you knew it was old. Yep. So, um, and just, you know, uh, just, 
just the old way they did it. Some may, the mortar is different in, than what we use, sure. and trying to match things was really yeah. one of the most difficult things too. I mean for color and yeah, for things. texture, color, or some rooms weren't the same height, yeah, I mean, so you had yeah. to you had to you know either cut brick or come up with an idea how to make sure you so you could walk through different floors, you know, from one floor to another floor. Uh, how yeah. long were you guys working on this project? Off and on, you know, probably six months to, I mean, in here, probably a couple months, but, you know, we were off and on on different times in here. We didn't do everything at one time. And how do you get, how do you, you and he get connected with each other? My father and him, uh, he had a building a long time ago we did that he owned and then we went from that to his house to different projects that he had and he just kind of carries us along here and there whenever he has something, you know, we, we do it and... Nice. You know, uh, just a great person to work for. He's fantastic. He's he's very old school, like my father. A handshake is what means everything. That's the bond. Uh, yep, that's it. And that's really what the really neat thing is. Is that's how it is. You know, and uh, that's you don't find that everywhere now. So. You don't. All right. Well, for the folks who who haven't seen this part of town yet, you got to get here. There's a little storyboard on the wall that shows you what was and what is now, which is very impressive. I want to thank you for the work you guys have done. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> and I, I want to say, because we've worked here, and I've seen the thing that's gone through, and to see it tonight, it really is special. And really, really nice. I mean, you you know, you have a vision, and he had a vision, and we, we would just say, okay, what do you want us to do next? What's but next? but to see it tonight, you understand what it really was all about. So. Is it finished? As far as I know, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. You, you heard it here first. You never know. You never know. Thanks, man. Appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Okay. You had a lot of good things to say to us today. Is there anything else that the people in the community need to know that, that, you, that you didn't have a chance to write down? Well, I think we thought very long and hard about what we wanted to say today. We were very thoughtful and planful in regards to what we wanted to say, but I think the last thing that I would want to offer is just come down and support our businesses. Come and get a drink, get some food, shop at these businesses. This is one of three or four of our community spaces. We have this space, we have the space, um, the courtyard, we have the patio, we have Washington Square, and we have the park area that all are available for you to come, purchase items, get some food, get some drinks, play some games, just enjoy your time here in Oxford. It seemed like one more, if you, last week I talked to Kelly and you about 2025 and the thought of doing more sort of, if I know, alley restoration, which isn't true, but sounded good. Is that kind of like coming events? Do we think that there might be other endeavors like this? Some other green spaces? I think this is a good option for Joe to talk about as well. But, you know, we're always looking to try and upgrade and advance Oxford as a community. So I think anything that we come together with, you know, to elevate this community is a great, a great thing to explore. We agree. How about you? Yeah, I agree. And uh, we love what their vision is down here. And we're here to support it through our building department, through our permits to help in with all the engineering and stuff, we're very happy to do it. And uh, I know they have eyes on the prize for more, Good. and we're excited to see them, and um, can't wait. We can't wait either. Thank you both, both very much for what you do. I appreciate it. Well, Thank very, you. very good. We love Oxford. Yes. I heard that. <laughs> we do. Thank yeah. you. I can't say it enough. They love Oxford, and I kind of like it too. Yep. It's not bad. Okay, I'm sitting here with Vicki Connolly, one of my favorite people, who's got, who's got a great gig going in this town. I just, wow, your restaurant's wonderful. Thank you very much. So we're here today enjoying a little bit more than just your restaurant and your food and your coolness. You, you had some modest part in the planting the seeds for this amazing event. Tell us a little bit about how you got involved in this, Vicki. Well, you know, this building was recently sold and Les, our host, purchased it. And when he put his two buildings together, 
he wanted to create a second floor for his tenants. So that created kind of this, I don't know, undercover patio area. And he asked what I thought about maybe doing some seating, that kind of thing. And at oh, yeah. first I was a little put off because it, it kind of reminded me of like partying under a deck on a walkout basement kind of thing. I was like, oh gosh, okay. I don't know. You know, people want to enjoy the sun. They want to dining al fresco. And then the more we talked about it, I kind of got an idea for maybe like a little outdoor lounge. Huh, yeah, right. You know, where we run a wait for tables sometimes, or sometimes people don't want the full dining experience. They just want a snack, uh, uh, maybe an appetizer, or we do, a, you know, lay aperitif, aperitivo, kind of the European way of ending the day and having a little drink and a little bite. Europe would be one of your favorite continents, as I remember. Yes, it would. And I try to bring a little bit of that to Oxford. My dream is to kind of create something right here in our hometown that makes you feel far away. Exactly right. So this seems to me like a great idea. Everybody's walking around going, A, it looks wonderful and inviting, and B, we should bring our friends here. This is a great idea. Yeah, thank you. You know, a lot. It's it's been a long process, over a year, um, and I personally have over a ten thousand dollar investment in plants, furniture, planters. Uh, oh. Just really wanted to share with the community and get on board with the DDA as well. But this space for me was to create something special for my guests, something that gave them a little bit of uh, relaxation at the end of the day. So if I may, sort of Vicky's back porch. Yeah, I kind of like that, you know, or Vicky's veranda. Vicky's staying with the V's. All right, I love it. All right. Well, we thank you for having a good idea because you had lots. But acting on that and keeping the pot stirring, because the result is lovely. So this will be snacks and appetizers and stuff and some liquids from your place, right? Yes, and we have a, we've purchased a fire pit, sectional furniture. Like I said, we just really wanted to create a relaxing outdoor space um, in conjunction with what the DDA was doing in their common spaces out there. But this is, you know, serviced by our staff. Um, we had to go the extra step and get licensed by the Liquor Control Commission. And so there it was, it was quite a uh, project for me as well. So you are you in Liquor Control Commission on pretty good terms because I imagine they're important to make things like this happen. Oh, I, I would hope so. But I think the liquor control has there is really worked with um, restaurants, you know, through COVID, through the pandemic. Yeah. And then once people got to eat outside, they kind of embraced that outdoor dining, which do this. Yeah, which, you know, in Europe is very popular here. I think maybe pre pandemic people weren't so crazy about being outside, which is too bad. We need to enjoy the beautiful outside. Michigan's got such a such a short season, but it is so beautiful. It's great. Well, it's wonderful to be able to take advantage of it. I love the way you've got the place decorated, too. Yeah. Like I said, we just really wanted a commune community kind of conversation, chit chat. I know you've been to Europe, Chuck, and you know how small the little bistros are. You end up talking to the person next to you and, and right there with somebody you don't even know and you get to know them yeah and i think that's part of the charm of my place and that i wanted that to extend out here onto the patio vicky's veranda i like yeah. it. and who who doesn't love a fire pit i don't know of anybody if they don't love it they're not allowed in oxford Great. And I mean, we love Oxford. I'm just so thrilled to see the DDA putting money into the back sides of the buildings. You know, we're, we're, we're a little bit removed from M24 traffic and hustle and bustle and uh, really are beautifying all the spaces in the downtown. It's great. I imagine you work pretty well with a lot of the other businesses around here too, right? I have great, I call them my neighbors, you know, because I spend more time in Oxford than I do at home. So they are my neighbors and we work well together. I'm just thrilled to see so many new businesses. If you haven't been through to see Cassandra, ah. you know, Wild and Rooted, my good friend Kathy at Modern Marketplace, and they've had the, and Scott's Toys, they've got this unique concept that they connect. Yeah, so it's kind it. of like an indoor mall. The mall. doors are open. Yeah, so it's just so exciting to see new entrepreneurs that are passionate about Oxford and uh, reminds me when, of when I was a little bit younger, you know. Exactly. I, I can't remember that far back for me, but I'm sure it was lovely time. Yeah. So you and you and you and you really need to come down here and enjoy Vicky's veranda and enjoy just being here, right? Yes. Th Thanks. Thank you so much. It's Thank you, Chuck. It's always a pleasure. You're the best. Yes, we love Oxford. We love Oxford. Chuck Cameron and Vicky, Oxford TV. Bless you. Yeah.
means to put there. 